Welcome to a proof of the sum and difference derivative rule. In this video, we'll actually only show the proof of the sum derivative rule, but we can use the same type of proof for the difference derivative rule. We'll prove the derivative of f of x plus g of x with respect to x equals f prime of x plus g prime of x. And we'll be using the definition of the derivative shown here below. Where f prime of x equals a limit as h approaches zero of the difference quotient. So to begin our proof, we want to apply the limit definition of the derivative for f of x plus g of x. So looking at the definition below, first we have the function value when the input is x plus h, which in our case, because we have a sum of two functions, would be f of the quantity x plus h plus g of the quantity x plus h. And then we want to subtract the function value when the input is x, which in our case would be minus the quantity f of x plus g of x. Now for our next step, we want to clear the parentheses here. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we would distribute negative one. So distributing positive one won't change anything, but here we're going to have minus f of x minus g of x, which gives us the limit as h approaches zero of this fraction. And now we're going to change the order of the terms in the numerator write the f's next to each other and the g's next to each other. So we'll write the numerator as f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x and then plus g of the quantity x plus h minus g of x. And now we'll write the single fraction as a sum of two fractions with the denominator of h. When we do this, we'd have the limit as h approaches zero of, the first fraction is f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x over h, then we have plus the second fraction, g of the quantity x plus h minus g of x all over h. And now we have the limit as h approaches zero of this sum, which we can write as the sum of two limits, which would be the limit as h approaches zero of the first fraction plus the limit as h approaches zero of the second fraction. And now we should recognize that these limits are the definitions of the derivative here for f prime of x and here for g prime of x. And therefore we have our proof, this is equal to f prime of x plus g prime of x. So we've now proven the derivative of f of x plus g of x with respect to x equals f prime of x plus g prime of x. I hope you found this helpful.